Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Graminger DFE. So Graminger is a brewery run by women? Yeah, apparently it's three sisters. Uh, it's kind of like a restaurant brewery. Okay. And they've won many awards for their beer, so apparently their beer is really good. I believe, well, this is a Mertzen. Yes, it says Mertzen right on it. And we are well familiar with this style. This is the uh, style that was traditionally served at Germany's Oktoberfest. It can be anywhere from medium to, to heavy in body. Mm -hmm. um, anywhere from medium to light or medium to dark in color as well. This one seems a little bit on the lighter side, actually. Yeah. Um, it's slightly dark, but it's more of a golden. Yeah, really kind of golden -y golden color. Golden color. I like that. So back in the day, brewing beer was was not allowed from like March to September. Mm -hmm. So, or April to September or something like that. So in March, they would brew these beers with like higher alcohol content, like, and, and a lot of hops and stuff like that and to preserve them. Yeah. So that they didn't have to worry about them keeping, you know, fresh for, for a long period of time. So we know what to expect. This is gonna have a fuller, sweeter body to it. It's got a lot of malt character. Take a nose on this and see what it smells like. I'm not getting really a lot of malt character. I'm just getting a lot no. of that. Well, yeah, it's malt, but like it's it's sweet. I'm not getting any any sort of anything to back it up. No no sort of uh, hoppy bitterness to on the nose anyway. I do like kind of like just the creaminess of the the head, even though there's not a lot of carbonation. It still has a nice density to it. Yeah, it's been sitting there for a little bit, but it, the, lacing the lacing is really nice. It sticks to the side of the glass yeah, really really well. So so that syrupiness. Is, is much like a cognac, you know it's gonna hang around for a while, so mm -hmm. I'm guessing, gonna guess this is gonna be pretty sweet. Let's dive in and see what it is. Cheers. See if we're right. Mm. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We just had two completely different <laughs> responses to that first sip. <laughs> I wasn't looking at you, but I'm hoping that wasn't the same I as thought, mine. I, thought, I think this is pleasant. Actually, as far as all the beers we've drank so far out of this box, this is the best one. It's actually good. Yeah. A little on the sweet side for me, if I'm being real. Okay. Uh, it's I like my beers with a little more balance than this. Um, there's, there's not a lot of hop character going on in this beer. It's a lot of malt no. and a lot of sweet. Yeah. But there's enough to support it and balance it as much as can like be expected, that. I guess. It does have a quite a bit of body to it as well. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's not a light beer. It's it's like dense, sweet thing. Yeah, it smells light. But it's not. It has it has some good body to it yeah, for sure. It does. I can tell there's a, a couple different types of malt used in this. Mm -hmm. I can't pick out exactly which ones they are. But um, but there's this definite honey thing happening, and maybe that's from over roasting a particular lighter malt. Um, but there's a definite honey back note to this that you taste right away. I taste it anyway. Really present. Um, yeah, I just I wish there was a little bit more kind of bitterness supporting that. Uh, it so, is very yeah. sweet, but um, but still very tasty. I like that. It's not yeah. bad. I just kind of wish it was a little bit roastier, just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit darker in color too, but it doesn't really affect the taste. All right, guys, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.